Good morning everybody! Today I am having a meeting with my editor Amy. Um, you may have seen her in some of my old vlogs. I'm really out of breath, I've just run up two flights of stairs. <sighs> You'd think getting a dog and going on regular walks would make me more fit. Turns out, that's not what happens. So I'm just waiting for Amy now. My office is really messy. Look at all these things that I need to put away. Nala's here. Hey baby. Are you gonna sit up here with me and Amy today? Yeah. So, um, as you may know, if you've been following me on Twitter, um, my Twitter is at Zozibo for any of you that aren't or didn't know that. Um, I am answering a few little questions about book two, Girl Online 2, um, and a lot of you are very excited for it, which makes me very, very happy. Um, Amy's been coming to my house now every week for the past January, February, March, April. Four months! Um, uh, mostly on Wednesdays, where we sit and we have like little picnics here on the floor. I actually need to get my act together and get some nice things up here before she arrives. And we essentially uh, spend the day bashing heads and writing the book together. So. Um, it's very exciting. I love Amy. I love working with Amy. She's amazing. With Girl Online, I also had an editorial consultant who helped me get everything down on the page. Um, and as it was my first novel, it was all very daunting and very scary. But I feel as though I'm kind of learning as I go along. So now it's just me and Amy. So it's just me and my editor uh, for book two. I do really enjoy my time with Amy though, because she obviously knows what she's doing. She is a pro at this and I am kind of learning as I go along. So, uh, but it is definitely, um, the most fun thing I am doing right now and have been doing. Um, it's so exciting. Um, every week I'm like super excited. I've decided on uh all the themes and the storyline for the second book i've gone through that um we've gone no uh, stop barking at the dog next door um i've added some new characters um i don't really know how much to give away on my second channel um i've been reading chapters that i've written to alfie um to see what he thinks and he's like you should be filming this like this is really fun like you should be showing this process so I guess I just need to find out what I can kind of reveal to you I kind of want you guys to know everything because I'm so excited about it Nala but I know that that would be stupid because I'll just end up reading the entire thing to you before it's out and then what's the point <laughs> um wait stop it we oh i don't know what i can tell you without giving away the book i don't want to give you the name i don't want to give you the title it's not called girl online 2. a lot of you in my twitter feed is like um is it called girl online 2 or does it have a different title it's not called girl online 2. that's just kind of what amazon puts up for pre-order i'll leave a link for the pre-order uh, underneath this video actually and you can go on over and pre-order it if you like as you know i'm not a literal genius um i did not study this at school this is just a passion of mine and a passion can get you so far uh but when it's being kind of published and put on shelves in uh, a lot of bookstores it's not the most kind of professional way to do it um even like the format like Amy knows the format and like how it's supposed to look on a page whereas I sit and type and type and type and type and type I think if I didn't have Amy the book would honestly be like as thick as this <laughs> as thick as this airport is it called an airport I don't know I'm getting confused with actual airports and I actually have all my notes in here we've got some old characters back um we have some new characters and the book has a very obvious general theme which I could give away but by telling you the title which I might do at some point I definitely will I'm just waiting for Amy and um, I should probably get some sweets together and stuff so yeah for a minute there I thought she was hiding behind the door <sighs> that really scared me I think she might be here though okay I think Amy's here now so I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, I'll film a little bit of the meeting from what I can film because obviously I don't want you guys to know exactly what happens at the end, in the middle and at the beginning. I'm wearing like a cloak today, look. <laughs> look 
at Nala. She always finds little sunspots to sleep in. You enjoying that, Nala Bear? But yeah, it's book day today. Normally I don't film them because it's literally just us sat typing. Um, and that's not very fun. Uh, but I kind of want to, really, because I want to be able to look back on this and also I think it's interesting for you guys. So, that is what I'm going to do. And this is some thingies that Oliver Bonus sent me for my birthday, which I might actually still just hang up in here. Okay, Amy's here now, so I have to go. Bye! Amy's here! Hello. You actually have quite a good tan as well. Oh. Look at your arms! I've got two weeks in Hawaii. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> so, and she also brought this, which is from Michael at calm.com, because I always mention his app because I use it and I find it amazing. So he said, thank you for mentioning it, and here's a little box of goodies. So he sent me a little panda, nano block. Does anyone else have these? Because I've seen them in shops, and the panda looks really cute. And also, when I bought Darcy a Lego kit at Christmas, I ended up making it, which is very selfish of me. It was like... I think it was Ariel's boat and palace. Mm. Yeah, it was it was fun to make. And then I think Matt dissembled it and chucked it all in a bag to take back with him and then to rebuild it with Darcy. Um, that sounds really mean of me. <laughs> I did have her with me, she just wasn't as interested. Um, I, I, I also have, sounded very West Country then, um, uh, GMB's, oh, green and blacks. <laughs> G, GMB's, green and blacks thin salted caramel chocolate which we can eat later yum um green and black's organic chocolate amazing he know he knows what keeps me calm chocolate um and also his book calm calm the mind change the world this looks very cool i shall definitely be having to give that a read um a little stick we think this is to light the candles right oh wait there's a hole in it Michael, what's the stick for? Is it to light the candles? <laughs> we might have to try this later on. Or is it like something that you're supposed to, you know, like the little things that you're supposed to like keep that bring you calm? <laughs> Imagine if it's like something sacred. We just like end up burning it and like, oh, light the candles. <laughs> um, and also this, which looks amazing. Neom, I love that brand. Uh, the candles are super cool. Um, Organics Essential Sleep Kit, three intense products, with the power to help you sleep, um, which actually matches Amy's dress well, very well. nicely. <laughs> um, so thank you, that's awesome. Very cool. Um, we can build this. <laughs> Productive. <laughs> Productive book day. <laughs> also, very exciting, this is Amy's book, The Potion Diaries, which also goes lovely with your dress today, Amy. <laughs> well, I do, you know, I do try and I'm always beaming. <laughs> um, explain, explain the book for the viewers. Um, well, it's a young adult fantasy book, and my publisher describes it as The Hunger Games meets The Princess Diaries, but basically it's about a, a young alchemist who is trying to save the princess who's been poisoned by a faulty love potion. It sounds amazing. So, it sounds like a fairy tale. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's so cool. It's really fun. And it's kind of set in a modern world, so it's sort of really, hopefully it's really relatable, so. Yeah. Cool. Totally opposite to Girl Online, basically. <laughs> There are so no unicorns good. or mermaids no, in Girl damn. Online, but there are in the Potion Diaries. We should start putting unicorns and mermaids <laughs> yeah. in Girl Online, to be really honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to give this a read. Update, I think I'm getting a cold, or I have hay fever because I've got all the windows open, but I, I don't really get hay fever that badly, if I get it at all. I'm not really sure if I get it or not, which is a weird thing to say, but I've never had it as a child, but Amy did say you can just kind of get it. So I don't know whether that's happening or if I'm getting cold. Either way, I have been sniffling away. Um, we are eating some treats down there. <laughs> the grapes don't look that great though, do they? They're not very green. I think they've had Tastes their best time. They do taste nice. <laughs> I am currently typing up chapter 11. So that is how far along we are. We do have quite a tight deadline though, don't we, Amy? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Um, so I'm writing this up and then I'm going to send it to Amy. Um, I just said to Amy, I write and way too much. I'm like, and, and, and. That's the blog post writer in me. Yeah. And the exclamation marks. I keep putting exclamation mark after everything. Like, like everything is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm having to go through and remove those, but, um, it's all a learning curve. It's very exciting. Amy's packing up. That's it. She's leaving. <laughs> it is four o'clock now and I've just finished chapter 11 so we're well on the way we really we are we only have how many more words several thousand <laughs> a lot many a lot more, more words to go but it's good it's 
shaping up nicely. What are you doing, Nala? Are you just watching some YouTube? Are you watching some YouTube? <laughs> With a chew? With, With a chew? She's like, uh, you're distracting me. I just watched a funny old bloopers video of me and Tanya when we did our pamper video. I don't know if any of you remember that. I think it was called Girls Night In. Um, and I just watched the bloopers for it because I don't really do bloopers on my second channel anymore because I kind of just leave all the bloopers in the main channel but um, it was very funny it makes me miss blooper videos so whilst myself and Amy have been upstairs all day um, Alfie went into town with Che and appears to have come back with this and a pepper pig ball <laughs> whoa oh my god I thought that was going to hit me. Hey, can you kick the ball through the tunnel? Yeah, look. <laughs> oh my god, I think I just nearly threw up. <laughs> Alfie, please don't do that. I'm scared of footballs. Stop, Alfie, seriously. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I hate it. No, I'm not playing with you if you're going to... No, I don't want to be in goal. You're gonna smash the window. Put your face on the glass. I'm scared. You scared Nala. Oh! I can't stop. Watch out! No hands. No, actually, you have to go beat the goal is. Yeah, but you have to aim it here. Don't aim it with me. No. Please. Can you do it like this? <laughs> Look at the ball, who's that? I'm scared. Yeah. So save one. <laughs> save it again. Ow. That did it hurt. I know you can only keep it that first. Yeah! Yeah, yes, guys. I was laying out there, I fell asleep. Ow! Ow, I can go shoot this off. Why are you holding on to me? Ow! Stop! This is bullying! This is bullying! So we just popped to the pet shop, we're back now, and we picked up some of Nala's food, and they had these, which are little pots, if it's going to focus, little pots of Billy and Margot nutritious ice treats for dogs, so when it's hot, like today, um, you can give your dog some ice cream, which is like the cutest thing I've ever heard of. So Nala, do you want to try some? Let's see if she likes it. Is that nice? <laughs> oh, my camera ran out of charge. Is that nice, Nana? This will probably take like eight years to eat. <laughs> yeah, can't notice any difference. Imagine eating a whole pot of ice cream by licking it. I think she just likes the cold right now. I doubt she can taste anything yet. No, I think she's got through to it now. You can hear it. Oh yeah. What a nice little treat. Um, <laughs> just to note that we're not going to let her eat the entire tub. <laughs> we'll just let her have a little lick. Do you like that? Nala? Yes. Have you had some ice cream? Oh. oh, not on your legs, not on your legs. Oh, oh no, she's licking oh. it. Do you want some more? Let me just see what's... Oh, no dairy, grains, gluten, colorants, taste enhancers, or artificial sweeteners. What is it then? I guess just mushed up. Goodness. Apple and strawberry with ice. I've put a little bit more makeup on, as you can see. 
um, because myself and Alfie are filming something for his channel which will be up now hopefully so you can go on over and watch that I'll leave a little link in the description box we're doing the what's it called Alfie dressing up challenge switching clothes challenge um, it's, I think it's essentially where you both pick outfits for each other that are each other's clothes and you try them on and it's really lol worthy it's now 20 to 8 and we have just finished filming we started like careful, over an hour ago what you're getting shot on yeah box. Alfie has only boxes on so we filmed started filming over an hour ago that is a lot of footage you're gonna have to edit I know I've got so much editing to do tonight but it was good it was funny it was good well I mean, it is as good as wearing the opposite person's clothes can possibly be. Probably good for these guys. Yeah, so I actually still have some of Alfie's on. Because <laughs> they're comfy. It reminded me how comfy boyfriend's clothes are. There's a reason that girls can get away with wearing their boyfriend's clothes, but maybe not and so much the other way around. And also a reason why boys can't get away with wearing girlfriend's clothes. <laughs> yeah, mine were a little tight on Alfie. Where are we going today, Mark? Wagas. <laughs> We're going to Wagas. We're going to Wagas. Wagas, Wagas, Wagas. Wagamama for dinner. Um, me and you don't, we go out to eat a lot, but not really just the two of us that much. No, not really. Um, the last time we went out for dinner together was with my friend Max as well. Exactly, that's what I mean. Like, we don't really go out a lot just the two of us. No. So, um, Date night. Date night. Um, I'm very excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Wagamama's is one of I my favourite. I feel like that's a question that oh, I asked. Oh, Wagamama's tweeted me the other day. Did they? Saying like, come to a restaurant or something like that. And I was like, I, I go do. to you guys like, all the time. I just wish they delivered. I know. It's collection only where we are. Um, there are a lot of places that do like, like, is it delivery or dinein.co.uk? Those they, kind of things where it's like a middleman between the restaurant and a delivery and service. a delivery service. Well, so it's, it's a delivery service, basically. Yeah, basically they pick it up from the restaurant and charge you like a couple of pounds or something like that and deliver it to your house. But we live too far out. We're not in the bracket, but your mum is. So next yeah. time we go to your mum's, we can get whatever dinner GBK. we want. Yeah, we'll get GBK. That's what I said to Che today. I was like, I bet he can get GBK. Yeah. We're just in that wrong area code. It's so annoying. I know. Because we're not even that far away. I swear we've just parked in a car park that has the tightest spaces. I have a mini and I have absolutely no idea how any other car can get in here. <laughs> it's just like the smallest. Look, like nothing could get in that. I guess one of those like, smart cars. That would fit in, but that's probably pretty much it. <laughs> Something stupid just happened and I was like, I feel like I should probably vlog that. We just walked past this and it says... And it's called Grow 50. It's, it's called, called, called Grow, Grow 50. Grow 40, Grow 40. And I thought it was, I was like, oh look, it's called Burger and Lobster. And then you corrected yourself, you went, oh no, it's not. They do Burger and Lobster <laughs> at 3.50 every day. <laughs> at 3.50 every day, they serve, they serve Burger and Lobster. Or... I'm going, I'm going for a Burger or, myself. Or it's... £15.50? <laughs> well, it doesn't have a pound sign. Well, I mean, it, right, if you guys want this meal, you have to come in at 3 50 that's it. <laughs> I mean, if you're still working at that time, which is probably very likely, then tough. You can't get it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Weirdly, Alfie just said, do you want to I left a jacket in here? When was it? My birthday, so almost a month ago. Wallet. Alfie's wallet, which has been missing for like a month. And the woman's like, yeah, 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 you left it on the table, we've got it in the office. <laughs> this entire time. I rang up and asked and they were like, no, we don't we don't have anything. And I just said to that woman, she's like, yeah, we've got it. Waiting for you in the office. Imagine if it is. So funny. Well, imagine. She brings me out somebody else's boy. It was like 500 pounds in it. I'm just like, yeah, that's mine. No, I wouldn't really. Is it nice? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I bit my lips so hard. <laughs> yes. Everything is in there. <laughs> oh my god. Alfie has been looking for that for a month. Almost 
a month. Even the wallet alone is an expensive wallet, let alone all my cards. Wait, is there any money? Just a million train tickets. But my ID, everything. I have no ID. When I went to the casino, you know what happened? I went to the casino in France with all the boys snowboarding. Didn't take my passport, so I just thought, oh, my ID's in my wallet. Got there, they wouldn't let me in, so we couldn't go in. And you've, you've changed all your cards now as well. That's fine. At least I got my ID and stuff. Oh, my so God. Happy. <laughs> Best decision to come here ever. We came in and Alfie was like, maybe, no, before we left, we were on the drive, and Alfie was like, maybe I left my jacket here, because I can't find my jacket, and maybe the jacket had my wallet in it. So when we got here, he was like, he asked about a jacket, and my mum was like, no, no, a wallet, you left a wallet here. He was like, well, yeah. And then she was like, let me go and check. And they just put it down, that's like the weirdest thing. I'm so happy. You even rang up like a month ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got my wallet now. <laughs> Get into my vlog. I'm too tall. I know, we always have this problem. And my head's too big. Um, did you enjoy our date night? I did. Do you what enjoy was your highlight? Was it that? My highlight was getting my wallet, <laughs> not gonna lie. Yeah. That was a very big highlight. I feel so full. It's like hard to walk. <sighs> Look at the little door. I wouldn't even oh my see God. it. <laughs> It's like Greece. Do you remember like, all the doorways like in. in Greece? Do you remember all the doorways in Greece? Yeah, they're like tiny little Tiny ones. little doorways. Anyway, we're heading off home now and I think we might have a bath. I'm so full up. Same. Like, does this hurt? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's now bath time. Whoop, whoop. One of my most favorite times of the day, if I have one for that day. Um, it's, it's the time where I have to try and decide what I want to put in it. I think I'm going to put some Zoella bubbles in because I do like bubbles Zoella style. So this is my soak opera, bath soak and shower cream. I absolutely love the smell of this. I mean, I picked it so it would be weird if I didn't. Um, but just squeeze a little bit of that under warm running water. I think as well as the bubbles, I might put some of this in, which Alfie hasn't had yet, so he might really like it. It's the Body Shop um, Fuji Green Tea Bath Tea. So it's kind of like bath salts, um, and it kind of comes in this tin. And then you put the bath salts in this. Oh, good focus camera, good focus. You put the bath salts in this, and then you just kind of like leave it to soak in the water. Um, and it smells really good. I really, really like it. Look who else is here. As always, my little shadow. Oh, we are for you. Being a bit independent there, Nala. Jeez. Um, yes, yeah, so bath time, relaxing time, and I'm also editing a vlog to go up, which I just realized I didn't end properly, so I had to do like an end part to my vlog like now. Not that you care about that. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I'm rambling. I'm running a bath. I will show you when it's done before I get in it. Yay, I've made it all nice and I've done candles and a candle here and I've put the um, bath salts, green tea bath salts in this. So there we go. Oh my goodness. 